Hi, everyone. Uh, nice to see a lot of new faces here. Uh, my name is Meg Doherty. If you've met me before, I'm a little under the weather, so you're not going to get my like 80% energy level. Um, but happy to be here and just give a little update on my fellowship from um, last year. And at this point, I, I I've had so many different names for the title of my fellowship. We'll just start fresh again and I'll reset with you all of what I'm trying to do. Um, so I'm a user experience designer and researcher based in the US and I, I work in scientific computing in the National Institutes of Health. And when I first started out, I realized we were one of the only user experience design teams building products in the medical research space in the US. And I was really wanting to find some connection to other designers who might be working along researchers and um, software engineers. So I found this, found you all in this amazing group. And I had three main goals last year. So I wanted to meet other research software designers. We meet a lot of research software engineers, but I wanted to see if there were some just designers out there. And I also wanted to better understand what's holding back RSEs from embracing usability tools and practices, um, including documentation. So Daniele, we have a lot of overlap in an interest area. And I'm one of the international fellows. So part of my work was to bridge US UK relations, which sounded like a really daunting task a year ago, but happy to say that um, advocating for better research software is an easy way to, to bridge those US UK relations. And so quick tour and pictures of how I spent last year, um, two, two major events. I went to the US RSC kickoff. There was a community workshop held in Princeton, New Jersey in April. And that top left corner, you'll see the group photo, um, might, might recognize some folks, but it was a good chance. Um, Simon was there and Claire was there from the UK and really got a chance to meet some people who were also interested in um, bringing all, all the good work of RSCs into the US. So I got to see the US context. Um, I'm, I'm sad to report that there was not as much awareness about design and designers, user-centered design, as I had been thinking there might be. Um, but again, it's early, early stages of development, so I'm happy to um, be around in that community and try to build more awareness um, throughout this year. And then the highlight of my of my professional year last year was two weeks in, in the UK. So I went over for um, the RSE Con in Newcastle and got to meet a, a ton of people, attend a ton of workshops um, and, 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 and really, yeah, just just feel, feel a little at home. There are a lot more uh, people who are design oriented at, at RSC Con. And then I had a chance to connect with um, two fellow fellows, Janestra and Sophia, who are working on similar user-centered design. Um, Sophia is also in the, um, in the uh, health research space and did a couple of workshops, uh, one with the Alan Turing Institute on patient and public involvement and engagement, which was an interesting overlap of um, community management, community building, human-centered design to really understand um, in the ways that we are building research programs, how are we enrolling participants and treating them as partners throughout a research process? Again, this is more on the clinical health, health side. And then um, uh, Diego Alonso Alvarez, another fellow, introduced me to the um, RS, um, RS community at Imperial, where I could uh, break, bring some of my lessons from the program that we've built. And the, the, the program that we built at, at, at the National Institutes of Health is about a 26-person research and design team. And so we're really having a lot of opportunities to grow out and mature our practices and workflows and documentation. And so I'm really hoping this year to, to be able to publish more of that and, and openly. Right now, it's been mostly um, just in, internal documentation, but hoping to publish that more. And so my next slide. So just kind of a quick tour of what I have found so far. I think one of my most uh, biggest challenges has been just the, the way we talk about good usability tools and practices, because they live under many different domains. And it's really hard to parse. Even, you know, when I looked at the RSC Con agenda, I had to read each abstract to really understand, is this, is this might be something for me? Um, so th those buzzwords are not quite uh, coherent across different uh, domains, but things like co-design and GUIs and tutorial-driven development, all of these ideas 
are all in part in pursuit of making things more usable. And um, I, I really, I really think a lot about it's not just software. Uh, in the context where I am uh, in interacting with communities and patients, it, it's about physical spaces as well. So we design products, services, and experiences. So I try to think about um, my, my domain as, as much wider beyond software, but for my fellowship, really digging into the software aspects of, of community-based and human-centered human design practices. Um, the other thing I found so far is that some RFCs want to build more usable software, but are not well equipped yet. Um, there, there are a number of people who, when they heard I was in UX, they would say, "Oh, I, I need some UX. Like, what, you know, where, how, how can you help me?" Um, and it's, it's a great, it's a great starting point. Um, but I would love to help uh, bring some resources and more awareness about. The, spe the specifics of what people are interested in learning about. And so things like um, front-end development courses for RSEs or even how to conduct user research were some ideas that I heard in my travels. And um, if you haven't seen it yet, I have a blog series about this trip on the SSI blog. And um, one, of the, one of the posts I'm most proud of is just a list of, of these barriers and some of the paths forward um, that we can address to um, building po more positive user experiences. And lastly, there seems to be a negligible designer to developer ratio in research software development. And I, I don't want to make too strongly a connection to industry, but you know, there's 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 this concept of for you know X number of developers, you would have at least one designer or at least one user researcher. And um, a lot of folks who I spoke with over the past year, there's there's just not budget for that. Um, the, most of the software being built in these in these RSC groups uh, tend to be single use. Um, and and uh, I've heard a lot of stories about just tightly scoped projects of I need something now immediately and I already have the requirements and the answer. I just need you to build it, please. Um, so so in that environment, there's not a lot of space to do what we would say is that you know the the short term investment upfront uh, measure measure twice before before we cut once, and um, I think this quote really describes what what's going on here is. Uh, developing UI is not on the path of success for researchers. So it, 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 it's it's not it's not a space um, and, and, and not a practice that we have uh, a concept of in, in the community. So I'm hoping to um, build that out over the year um, year to come. So what's next for me? Um, so amazing group, uh, Super Bloom, if you haven't heard of them. They, I, I just found them, but they're doing a study about usable software ecosystem research. Um, and they are asking this exact question. I'm gonna be collaborating with them about how and why scientific open source specifically projects do or do not think about usability and design. Uh, this work's funded by the Sloan Foundation. And my my slides are in the hack on the hack MD. Um, please share your experience there. There's a 15 uh, 15 to 20 minute survey, and they're also doing um, one hour inter interviews right now. So I'll be helping them with the um, synthesis and presentation at the end. I'm really happy to share that because one thing that I've been struggling with is there's not a lot of uh, specific research on this topic. So th this is going to be a really great report, I think, to help uh, just clarify my dreams here. Um, and then um, thanks to SSI, I have two events coming up. So I'll be attending the Open Science Retreat in Germany in April, um, which I, I really, my motivation there is just to take a pause and see how all of this fits together. I've been working really hard and really fast for the past since COVID in the health space. And I, um, I'm really excited to just take a moment and see where I want to take my, my open source and my sustainable software journey. And then um, I will be in person at the collaborations workshop. So I hope to see some of you there. Um, and then last year, I, I definitely over-indexed on my UK institution <laughs> coverage, um, but I would like to find some connections here at home in the US. So if anybody has any um, institutions or community groups um, who wanna learn about the importance of usable software or even um, just getting started in, in usability testing or whatever the topic might be, um, please uh, connect me, I'm happy to to, to give a little spiel. And then um, 
my other call to action is what topics would you like covered in a mini workshop, aka uh, an application to the collaborations workshop on making more usable software? Um, I'd be happy to brainstorm um, brainstorm that. Maybe if you share three words in the chat or in the Hack MD, or we can even message each other on Slack. But I'm really happy to um, grow with this fellowship and I feel like every time I present, it gets a little clearer of what, what I'm hoping to change in the world. So thank you so much um, for everyone who's been so supportive. And um, I, I just wanna pass it forward. If anybody wants a connection to anybody, I would not have had the trip I had in the UK without other fellows, Sarah, Malvika, Yo, the uh, Diego, um, just th thank you so much. Um, this is such a wonderful community. I feel, I feel definitely supported by. So please allow me to pass that on if I can be of any help. So thank you.